Today we are talking about Greer, South Carolina, or is it Gur? At least that's how the locals say it. And stick around to the end of the video because obviously you can kind of see behind me, um, there is growth happening here in Greer and we're gonna talk about the things that are coming soon, the growth, the population, and what you can expect in the future for Greer. South Carolina. Let's talk about the airport first because it's both a pro and a con. Greenville Spartanburg Airport or GSP is located like 15 minutes away from downtown Greer. And it's a pro because honestly, if you need to fly out, you can fly out of here to any international airport like Charlotte or Atlanta, very easy. It's a quick 30 minute flight. At the same time, you get more of the traffic in the area and you're gonna hear the airplanes, okay? So that's a con. But if you are not used to hearing airplane traffic a lot, I mean, you're right here, you're super close. You are going to wanna think about that. GSP is growing. They have been in the midst of a huge renovation and the entire area is growing, which means our airport has to grow. They've added airlines to that airport and whenever that happens, it provides more jobs, it provides more that they have to do to the airport. And with the growth, they're adding more and more direct flights from GSP to places like Las Vegas and LA. So that's a huge draw to this airport uh, versus taking the hour and a half drive to the Charlotte Douglas Airport or down to Atlanta. So another big mode of uh, big transportation here is the inland port that is here in Greer. What is an inland port? Well, just like you have ports on the coast, this one is fed by the train system. There's lots of railroads here in the area. And if you're not used to hearing trains, let's make sure you know where you are living. Cause there are parts of Greer that Honestly, you're not going to hear the airport. You're not going to hear the, the train systems, but that inland port is how the area gets a lot of supplies that then feed out to the rest of the country via our railway system. Talking about the inland port and all that it brings into the area, something else that is very prevalent here that is definitely a pro is the amount of manufacturing that we have here in the area places like bmw michelin floor and mitsubishi polyester those are just like the top big uh, manufacturing plants there are so many other manufacturing businesses that are located here in greer and the surrounding upstate areas and they provide the area's jobs. I mean, we're talking hundreds, if not thousands of jobs located here in Greer because of these places. Now, the con side of this is as they bring in more manufacturing and as they bring in more jobs, it does grow the area, which means there is a need for more housing and then it creates more congestion because you have more traffic. Uh, and really, it's only going to get worse. If you watch our Thursday night live stream that we do on the channel, there's a project coming here to the upstate, most likely in this area, called Project Blackbird. It's another manufacturing, it's more automotive. And while these things are pros, like the development is great, it does bring with it its own problems, like more congestion, we need places for people to live and that's what we do so as the team and the realtors here we would love to help you if you are coming here for a job reach out to the team because we would love to answer your questions about the area about greer and surrounding communities all right so you are thinking about okay you're gonna land here in greer you've decided that you love the area it has so much great things to offer uh, so let's talk about the things to do now greer is your typical small town that has festivals and community involvement things so here's just a quick list of things to go and do whenever you are living here one of the first festivals that I actually ever attended here in Greer was a family fun fest around July 4th. 
and they shut down Main Street food trucks and bouncy houses and face painting and just a lot of things to do with the family. That was really cool. You do it right around July 4th. There's fireworks. It's actually not on July 4th. It's usually on July 3rd, uh, how it all lands. Then you have the Greer International Festival, which is highly attended here in the area. Then there's also throughout the summer, there is a summer concert series just down the road here at the park that hundreds of people will come and listen to these concerts every Saturday night. Other time in the week is the Tuesday Farmer's Market here in Greer. So you can do your shopping here in Greer on Tuesdays and then go to the other Farmer's Markets on Saturdays. There's also the Renaissance Festival that happens every year. And I heard this from somebody who lived close to Greer. There is so much congestion in this area, that's a con to some of these events. So when these events happen, these community festivals, the Renaissance Festival that happens here in the area, there will be a lot of traffic and parking will be at a premium. So they built a parking deck that is located one block away from Main Street and there's plenty of parking there as well as they have a free shuttle that runs from the parking deck to downtown so it gives you an extra incentive to go park over there and enjoy Main Street. So Greer Station has many different small businesses that are located along Trade Street. And they range from restaurants to small boutiques. And it, it's very unique. It's all built up in these historical buildings. If you wanna know more about some of those different restaurants or boutiques, etc., go watch our other videos. We've done Greer videos about Cartwright Food Hall and just talked about Greer in general. So go check those out. But really here, that is a pro where there's a lot of small businesses. This is very unique and it's a fun place to come and walk. At the same time, cons of the businesses down here is that there are a lot of repetition of the same businesses. So within one block, there are three, maybe four different coffee shops. I mean, there's also some really unique shops as well, like Plunder. If you love going and doing a picking style of antique shopping, go visit Plunder on Main Street. It is a three level shop that is so much fun. And then across the street, there's a board game shop as well that really you should go check out because there's just not enough places like that. Embrace your inner nerd. <laughs> Now we talk about it all the time, how uh, people here do life outside. Greer has um, beautiful parks and has a lot of things that you can go and visit. There are two small lakes that are located within Greer, Lake Robinson and Lake Cunningham and they are located on the northern side of Greer. Then as well, you've got all of this walking down here. You've got all of the parks for your kids and families to go enjoy. But one of the cons that I will say, this feels like Greer City. You also have Greer City limits that are like 20 minutes to the north of us here. It doesn't make much sense, but if you've watched our O'Neill Village master plan community videos, you'll see that to be within city limits and be 20 minutes away from the city of Greer might be seen as a con for the area. One park to mention specifically is Century Park. You'll find the baseball fields, the uh, disc golf course. It's just nice to take your family or take yourself and go enjoy outside. And then also want to note this because I think it's often overlooked is Greer Golf. So Greer Golf is an 18 hole golf course that has recently been updated. I don't think it's open quite yet, but if you're here in the area, a local spot and a local uh, restaurateur is White Wine and Butter. They will be located at Greer Golf and will have some of the best food in the upstate. So make sure you go check that out. All right, so you've stuck with me this long. 
development, Greer, like what's the future of this place? Well, as of like 2022, they were projected to have over 42,000 people that live in Greer. Those numbers I know have definitely gone up with all of the manufacturing or all of the development that is here in the area. Something to really watch is the development of these different neighborhoods, the builders. If you are looking for established neighborhoods, go look at Pebble Creek or Silver Meadows. Like there are so many different fun places that are established out here in the area. At the same time, new development and what is coming here soon, we know that builders are building more homes, that more people are moving here, and the projections for people moving here for jobs and so on. Greer is a great place to land. So just to wrap all of this up, the main con for this area is that it's growing. and with growth brings more people, more congestion, but at the same time, it grows what happens here and it grows the community. So if you like Greer and you wanna learn more about it, go check out our other Greer videos, specifically go check out our driving video, driving through the best places around Greer. Reach out to the team because we would love to help you find the perfect place, whether it's right here around the downtown Greer area or out towards Lake Robinson. That's like 20 minutes away and still in Greer. Subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.